laid out uh, very early on in this administration when it comes to ethics, when it comes to how uh, we all uh, uh, um, uh, kind of move about uh, and how we have we respect uh, clearly the government ethics here. Uh, this is a president. This is an administration has been incredibly transparent on that uh, and has put some very strict uh, strict rules. But when it comes to ethics, we take that very very seriously here in this administration. Uh, the White House press secretary once again declining to respond to unanswered questions over President Biden's son, Hunter, perhaps because the administration's explanation on the Hunter Biden case appears to be falling apart. The explanation goes like this. A, quote, Trump appointed prosecutor handled Hunter Biden's case and therefore everything is on the up and hump, up and up. How we all move about, we take ethics very seriously. In fact, lawyers representing an IRS whistleblower claimed David Weiss, the Trump appointed prosecutor, wasn't allowed to prosecute Hunter. Specifically, they claim Weiss wanted to file charges against Hunter in places other than Delaware, but the Justice Department blocked him. If true, important if true, this could give Republicans new fuel to prove what they've been arguing all along, that President Biden isn't telling the truth when it comes to protecting Hunter or his business activities with Hunter. Bill O'Reilly, anchor of No Spin News, is here. You and I like dealing with facts. How close are Republicans to the thing, that link between Joe and Hunter? About 50 percent there. You know, it's a big 50 percent gap. And um, it's absurd uh, to hear Jean-Pierre uh, spout this nonsense. Um, when Merrick Garland came out on Friday and said, oh, the prosecution of Hunter Biden was solely the responsibility of the U.S. attorney in Delaware. Um, no, you had to sign off on it, Mr. Attorney General. He's not the Attorney General, Weiss. You are. You knew what the plea deal was going to be, and you said fine. But there's Garland trying to save his butt because he could be in John Mitchell territory, all right, saying, oh, no, it wasn't me. It's so absurd. Now, it's unfair for any American to condemn President Biden for any kind of crime until more evidence is put forth. But believe me when I tell you, the Democratic Party is very worried about this. Huh? Very worried. Yeah, and the, the polling shows that. I think about the, the whole line from President Biden, right? My son was troubled, he was addicted, on and on and on, but I never had anything to do with his business dealings. But then there was this text message that came out on, on Friday that the White House did not want to talk about, President Biden didn't want to talk about either. I'm sitting here with my father. We would like to know why the commitment has not been filled. I'll make certain that between the man sitting next to me, every person he knows, my ability to forever hold a grudge, you will regret not following my direction. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father. Now, the defense from Team Hunter is, hey, um, Hunter Biden had addiction issues at this time. Who knows whether he was sitting with his father or not? On and on and on and on. If your whole defense is, I might have been high when I sent the text message threatening to use my father's influence to harm you, in this case, a Chinese Communist Party official, that doesn't feel like that good of a defense. Look, all this... Uh, could be put to bed with Joe Biden saying I wasn't there with my son on that night. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. yeah. No, Correct? It, it absolutely could be. It that absolutely hard? could be. No, it's not. Yeah, That's I wasn't the point. there. I don't. And then, and then he could go into the legitimate excuses. Hunter was probably smoking crack or he hit his head on the bathtub or whatever it may be. But the president of the United yeah, States has a somebody... responsibility yeah, yeah. to we the people to clarify stuff like this. Jean-Pierre feels she has zero responsibility to Leland Vitter. None. Well, she doesn't. She doesn't have any responsibility to explain anything to you because you're a peasant, all right? Mm -hmm. Or me, I'm worse than a peasant. I'm not going to talk about it. And there she goes, yeah. sashaying off. Who's paying your salary, lady? Who's yeah, paying your look, salary? They, 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 I, I got to hand it to the White House podium. press corps. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.